guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are finally doing another eat and train with me for the day. It's been a while since doing this. I honestly haven't done one since I was living in Hawaii, which is crazy. So we're bringing one of those to you today. I unfortunately have had a late start today. I don't know if I like am coming across as sleepy. I feel kind of sleepy. You guys know I'm always so big on like preaching about the morning routines. And I just wanna say I'm not perfect. And today was one of those mornings where I wasn't perfect. And I just went on my phone, which is not a good thing. I like read for a little bit. I like had, a, I had to start a little bit. And then I just slowly got sucked into my phone. So I didn't meditate this morning. And this is usually what happens when that happens. I just get more like flat a little bit, but hopefully this will turn around, especially after talking with you guys. But I just felt like sharing that because I just wanna say I'm not perfect. But anyways, with that being said, it's late. It's like 10.30 now, but we're gonna make some breakfast. Now, with that being said, you guys know I usually always have eggs and oatmeal, but not today. And this wasn't even planned, but I thought we had more eggs left than we actually do. I just came back from visiting New York yesterday, and we only have two eggs, and usually I have three eggs. So I'm like, hey, let's might as well make protein pancakes. And we're gonna do it from scratch. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of forget how to make a pancake from scratch, but we're just gonna go for it. I'm pretty sure you just need like oats, baking soda or powder, one of the two, protein powder and egg, cinnamon. What more could you need? like my pancakes to be like thicker I don't like when they're watery so I think this consistency should be okay Oh no, I got so much stuff on my shirt. Oh well, okay, moment of truth. I don't know how these are gonna taste because I roughly looked at like a few different recipes on Pinterest and kind of just combined it everything all in one. Greek yogurt, like why did I put that in there? I don't know, I saw someone else do it. They honestly look fluffy, so we'll see. Using some maple syrup. The protein powder makes it have a little bit of a weird consistency, like they don't really break super well. Like they're crumbly, but let's see. Still very good. I love that banana protein powder. Mixing the banana and the chocolate milk protein powder has been my go-to lately with everything. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Especially like the half a serving of each. It's not too much banana where it's overpowering. Mmm. This is a protein packed breakfast. First of all, I'm realizing there's so much protein in here. You guys already know what it is. I'm trying to calculate. Yeah, there's like 40 to 50 grams of protein in this meal right now, which is insane. Pleasantly surprised, the taste is amazing. If we had banana slices, I would put those on top. I'd also probably could have used a little bit more liquid, but I was nervous because I hate when my pancakes are super thin. Look at that. And with all clean ingredients, mm. First meal is a success. We're off to a good start today. All right, I've never put coconut water in here. Let's see what it tastes like. It's kind of a good little natural sweetener. Not bad. All right, so we're hungry, hungry. My eating schedule is a little bit off today, but that's just what happens sometimes. 
and I need an appetizer before I actually eat something. This popcorn, watermelon hibiscus, lesser evil, it's the goat. Mmm. Mmm. I just had another coaching call with the absolute sweetest girl alive. She was so kind. I just enjoyed it so much. We talked about her fitness journey, her fitness goals, my weight loss advice. We talked about like meditation tips for her to help like ease an anxious mind. Talked about why walking is so important. A whole bunch of things. If you're looking to hop on a call with me for a coaching session or a consultation call, I offer either 30 minute or 60 minute sessions where you can literally ask me quite literally anything. Whether it's about fitness, your fitness goals, fitness advice, or like mindfulness advice, spirituality, social media, growth tips, literally anything, life problems, travel advice, anything your heart desires that you would like to speak to me about. It's all safe space as long as it's obviously like respectful topics. But you can book a session with me down below. It's linked in my stand store. I would love to talk with you guys. It's been my favorite thing. It's so fulfilling and it makes me really freaking happy. Hmm. Oh, okay. So I know we started off strong this morning with like a fun different breakfast. I can't promise that's what's gonna happen right now for lunch. So I honestly just saw someone on my Instagram make like a little tuna open face sandwich, but she like kind of grilled the bread. So it's kind of like a grilled tuna sandwich, which I've done before and is super good. So we might as well do that because I don't really have another option right now for protein. So we're gonna do tuna. What else is there? And then we're gonna do pesto because I can't really make a salad right now because we don't even have balsamic vinegar. We're gonna make like tuna toast. Me trying to make it something cute. <laughs> Okay, here we are, same spot, still have chocolate on my shirt, hair is gonna cover it. I added some Siete Salt vinegar chips, cause they're delicious, and some cukes, because I'm honestly craving vegetables. However, we did not have the resources to make a salad. So we'll have to do that tonight for dinner. Here she is, she's looking stacked. Here we do a crunch test. I love sourdough bread. The bread I have is so good, it's only like five ingredients. Mm. Wow. Exceeded my expectations. Oh baby. Wanna know what these are? Sun-dried tomatoes. This dish was made for sun-dried tomatoes. Sun-dried tomatoes and pesto are like the dynamic duo. The friend that like everyone likes, like always a safe invite option. They're always gonna elevate the experience. I digress. Today is still going strong with the eating options. It's time for the gym, people. But before we go, I wanted to share with you guys my favorite little hydration drink that I've been absolutely loving lately. And like I said, this video is sponsored by Element and they essentially create little electrolyte drink mix packets. And if you guys have been following me on Instagram, you guys know I have been really into the importance of electrolytes lately. So the reason why they're important and imperative is because they really are responsible for a lot of different functions within the body, such as like even hormonal balance, nerve impulses, and just overall proper replenishment and hydration. We often think Think of hydration as just drinking water but when we're sweating we lose a lot more than just water so that's why it's really important to make sure that we are replenishing with a proper ratio of electrolytes so in this packet we have a thousand milligrams of sodium 200 milligrams of potassium and 60 milligrams of magnesium and I love this because there's no added sugar or drunk fillers or anything like that no BS ingredients that we don't need so I basically will sometimes either add just a half a packet or a full packet to some water mix it up and just take it with me to the gym and it's been helping so much with my 
my performance, just feeling overall energized in the gym. I just feel genuinely very replenished being on top of my electrolytes lately. So I really love this. Their flavors are delicious. My favorite is the watermelon one. And I feel like a lot of you will be surprised to know that sometimes we actually struggle from electrolyte deficiency symptoms. So like maybe sometimes your headaches or cramping or feeling really fatigued or sleepy is actually going back to you being deficient in electrolytes. So again, this really can be something that's very transformative and powerful to implement into your supplemental routine to help make sure that you're fully replenished and ready to go for your workouts, no matter what spectrum that is. So Element is so kindly granting you guys a free sample pack with any element order, which means a sample pack of eight individual packets. That way you can try out all of their flavors and see which one is your favorite. So you can go to drinkelement.com slash live fit to get yours. It will only be available through this link. So again, that's D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T.com slash L-I-V-F-I-I-T. So thank you again for Element for sponsoring this video. We need to pick out a quick gym fit. We're just gonna go bike at the gym, which some of you guys may be like, oh. but today's kind of my odd day where I don't really have any weight training planned. And I've just been, I've, I haven't been doing this for long, just for the past like two weeks. I've been biking on Wednesdays and now this is my third week. Just honestly, because it makes me feel good. I love the feeling of like sweating out. And I just realized that I should be doing some cardio for my cardiovascular health. So we're gonna do some good old bike shorts, but they're hoax because they're obviously not real bike shorts, but like, you know. Oh, this could be cute. Ooh, wait, is this like too matchy-matchy? Low key it is, but I'm kind of here for it. Maybe we should do this. They match like completely. This is Alphalete, this is from Honor Active. These are definitely on backwards. I was gonna say something doesn't look right. Yep. These are on backwards. Wait, are they? Alrighty, I'm at the gym, but I just filmed two TikToks and they were me going over my fitness journey excursion, so they took me a long time. And so now I'm like, oh, I should have my protein bar as a snack now. Because by the time I go home and eat after, it's going to be like really late. It's going to be like 8 o'clock. But I don't want to eat the protein bar and then be on the bike and then have my stomach hurt. Do you get what I'm saying? Well, I think I'm still going to have a little bit of it actually. Because I want to make sure I'm eating enough. Okay, so I'm having a Quest bar. They have updated their... Their, 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 their... Mmm. The formula concerning their recipe, so much softer. It's like cookie dough. Mm. I finished my electrolyte mix. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like I said, we're just biking today, so not a full lifting session or anything like that, but I kind of wanted to walk you guys through of what these days have been looking like for me, especially because it's pretty different from what I normally show you guys. So I just am still doing some dynamic stretches. My hamstrings are still really tight, so that's why I was doing some extra dynamic moves for them. I love this stretch. This is called the world's greatest stretch, and it just feels so good everywhere, like hamstrings, upper body, hips, it's awesome. But so I like to start with this just for, you know, getting some mobility work and still getting loose before I hop on a bike, which is what you see me doing here. So always adjust the seat. So I use a bike that has like programs already in it. So I'm not necessarily coming up with my own bike workout. So I just want to show you guys what it looks like. So essentially I choose 30 minute options and then I look through them and see which one is kind of my vibe for the day. I will say like, they're usually interval based so there's you know bouts where it's more difficult and some are more steady state and some are really mellow but i find that i get bored during those 30 minutes if i don't have a lot of fluctuations in different resistances and stuff throughout the workout so i chose one that was decently mellow i didn't have a ton of really high bursts of like super super high intensity but i chose one where there was a lot of fluctuations just to help the time go by faster and keep me interested so this is kind of a inside look of what it kind of looks like so i'll be doing more of a steady state mode and then it'll have me boost up the intensity meaning i'm turning that dial to increase the resistance so it's harder harder to pedal basically feeling like i'm pedaling uphill slash doing like a sprint bout 
and then it will have me come back down for recovery and then we'll kind of just repeat throughout the workout. So that's kind of basically the format. It all varies. I'm obviously not like a cyclist enthusiast, but my dad's really into cycling. So he's taught me a thing or two and I've been using the bike on and off, honestly, for the past like four years, like throughout college, I really enjoyed it. So. It's easy to have your legs kind of feel burned out when you're constantly pushing down with your quads. So it's important to alternate between also pulling with your hamstrings as well for and focusing on the second half of the rotation as well will really help your legs from burning out and being able to stick with it over that long haul. I was super, super freaking sweaty. And then I decided to hop on the treadmill because I didn't walk this day and I ended up walking for like 25 minutes unintentionally but I was posting something on my phone and doing some other work. So before I knew it, it was just 25 minutes. We're back, and I just need to show the reality of my life right now. It's 8.45, and this just what happens when I had a late start to the day on a line start to the day. Okay. It's 8.45 p.m. Okay, just getting home, still need to eat dinner. In my defense, I was in the car making an Instagram post, so I got an Instagram post up today. Just look at this. Okay, that is literally my suitcase from New York from yesterday that I just left in the middle of the foyer. Okay, this is from my grocery bag from yesterday. Don't know why I have three bags here. Those are old packages over there in the corner. This, that's literally my makeup bag that I took out of my suitcase today. This is an unboxing that I did for TikTok from EHP Labs. And the kitchen, I haven't done a single dish today. Which, I don't like that. Gives me agina. I said this on TikTok, and I put it on my Instagram story. This is when you need to think about what you would do for a person that you love. And think about what you would do to make them happy and make life easier. For me, I would clean this area for them. So that they would feel better. So, same thing, you need to treat yourself the way you would treat someone you love. So, we're going to clean the kitchen. We're going to make myself a very nourishing dinner. And even though I had a long day... It's something that I'd want to do for a loved one after they've had for a long day. I might as well do a little haul. I also need to edit two YouTube videos tomorrow, which is going to be interesting. So I didn't really know what I wanted to do for dinner, but I have chicken that I'm going to just whip up really quick. So these are really inexpensive. So I got these organic corn tortillas. The ingredients are literally corn, water, and lime. Okay, then I got some more medjool dates because I haven't had them in a while and you guys know the drill. Then literally when I was just home in New York, we had like normal figs at our house, which I'd never have had real figs before. I've always had them dried, but I love dried figs. So I was really excited to see those. More Hue chocolate, which just to let you guys know, they do have this at Walmart. They don't have a bunch of extravagant flavors. Like they don't have this flavor, which is my favorite one, but it's not $6. But at Whole Foods, it's $6. So there's that. The best hummus in the world, which I got, it's from Flaffle King. No seed oils in there, which we love. And then I really was going to get eggs. So then I got some more eggs. First, I'm going to wash my hands. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to make something with that tortilla. Because I don't really know. I could make chicken tacos. So this is a dried fig. I honestly didn't like the normal fig, so... Mmm... I love like the little seeds in them. It's like nature's pop rocks. This is how I do a homemade taco seasoning. Step one, cumin. Be generous with the spices, you guys. You can literally make anything taste good. You just need to make sure you're putting a lot of spices. Numero dos. Chili powder. Also generous. I also have some cilantro. I feel like this doesn't really do a ton to the taste, but I just feel like it makes sense to put it on there. Then we have pink Himalayan sea salt. Garlic powder. Might as well do a little bit of onion powder. Pretty much the same thing as garlic powder, but that's really all you need. And then for the veggies, I'm just going to do salt, pepper, and some garlic powder, and then onion powder.
We're just gonna be forgiving on this harsh lighting. I feel like this looks so depressing. <laughs> Veggies turned out great. So the chicken turned out <coughs> chef's kiss. I did a little taste test. 10 out of 10. My camera's about to die and I'm about to basically fall asleep. So I'm gonna have some dark chocolate almonds because I need a little bit of sweet tooth. You guys, this is like lift it after hours. All right. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you again to Element for sponsoring today's video. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one call with me.